so there you have it guys that's it all refueled now so this Skoda Octavia which had come in with the wrong fuel on it in the back of the recovery truck um, Sky and Star Services they recovered it in for us um, the gentleman was unfortunate to, to pick the wrong pump basically so it is much easier to put the petrol into a diesel than it is vice versa um, just because of the nozzle size in the diesel so we've got the big old tail on it um, this is an Opel that we were doing this is the one that we remapped it's got a wee airbag fault we we're looking at as well so we'll get out of there Go back, yes, out of there. Um, we're going to Volkswagen, eh? a little quicker. Uh, or Skoda, sorry. Skoda, we're going there, just make sure everything's all good. But no magic lights on. No horrible cracks for the diesel injectors, so it's a fairly recent car, so I should pick that up okay. So it's a saloon. Um, and we'll have a little look for this engine code. So we will. So engine codes on the most of the Volkswagen ones. So there it's in there, Charlie Alpha Yankee Charlie. Uh, you can find those uh, Volkswagen group. Uh, some of the older ones don't have it, but the, the later ones seem to have it on it. Uh, so Charlie Alpha Yankee Charlie, which we're looking for, uh, and that's there. Uh, so 1.6, only 77. This one could be 77 kilowatts. That's gonna be doing a wee remount, couldn't it? Um, so yeah, some of these Volkswagen the Skodas, some of them they do need DCUs out as well. Uh, well. We'll just scan the whole car. Go for it. So. Alright, so after he's done his thing, that one slim bugger, um, he's done his job the day, he's, he's, he's made his money, taking the fuel out, and, um, and we'll get rid of that fuel. So there is three engine management faults, uh, which we'll take care of. So, got those tracks control lights on this. It's just in checking those systems, so nothing to worry about, to be honest. So we'll see what these engine management faults are. There is no lights on, so hopefully they're all just history codes. They should be, to be honest with you. Uh, it might just be faults that the car had anyway, to be honest. I mean, it is a low mileage diesel, 68,000, so, um, and it is a 2012 car. Um, well, low mileage for the for the age of it, and considering it's a diesel, normally these things are taxis, to be honest. So, as always, when watching it, so yep, so you can see there what we did on it. So, there's some of the old fuel in there, some in there, and R2 is still holding some as well. So, two of these 40 treatments in it. Um, this is the advanced diesel treatment, this one, and uh, Prime the fuel filter with it, EGR Doctor and DPF Doctor as well, it says on it. So, lubricates and extends the life of the injectors and fuel pumps, restores injector spray patterns. Um, yeah, lots of stuff it does, eh? So, that is really good. I do I do believe in the 40 products that don't use anything else in, in the cars that I work on. Um, they've been about for a long time. Um, and I trust Forte to be honest with you. You know, uh, there's a lot of a lot of fixes um, using their stuff now. And you can see we've got all the bulletins up the wall because um, we do we do believe in Forte. They, they are good to be honest with you. Um, you know, there are others out there, but that's the one we use. We like the Forte stuff. Um, the, the we use the advanced motor flushes when we're doing the service. Um, and I've used it for some you know, severe cases with engines that have had no uh, emulsified oil and stuff like that in them, you know, when the, the coolant and the oil's been mixing. Um, and some great results with it, some great results with it, to be honest with you. And when I have had cars in with kind of mixed fuel issues and, um, you know, poor, you know, maybe a bad injector, that, that, that stuff can really work sometimes to, to get the injector working again, you know. Um, we did have one that come in that said it had an injector stuck. Um, so we put the we ran the fuel right down on that car. Um, we put fresh fuel in it because um, well, not bad mouth in the supermarket fuels, but it's not good. Um, it's not good in my opinion. Um, so 
We put two again, one in the tank, fresh fuel, 140 in the tank, 140 into the um 140 into the the filter as well, a new filter. So that's came back there saying the, the fuel wheel pressure was too low. That's probably been us trying to start it. Uh, it's saying as a wee EGR fault, most probably been in there. Um these two are passive, this one is active, so there maybe is a wee fault there with an EGR, but maybe that uh, the fuel treatment, the 40, might, might take care of that. So I, it seems to be going well, there's no lights on, so I'm not too concerned by that. Uh, engine management faults in there, and we'll, we'll have a look at what else was in there. Um, we'll save all this, email it to the customer, um, and they can they can do what they want with EGR if they want to look at that. But it might be okay after a good run. Alright, so this one's all done.